This is Nigel Ian Move. I'm modifying him again, or I'm getting ready to put the legs on him finally. I, I printed the legs a while back, as you may know. Um, but I've never had a chance to actually mount them on the uh, on the robot because the, the uh, support stand wasn't really tall enough. So this is the state we're in at the moment. They had the legs just hanging off the uh, off my roof there, so they're all ready to go onto the uh, onto the robot. I've built a stand. So there's power around. So I've, I'm making that support stand on a pole onto just a chair base which I think many people have done. Now, the way I've done this one, I'll just show you, is I've just taken off the, the uh, uh, chair leg and left the gas cylinder on there and bought a, uh, a tube which basically will fit straight over that. There's a tiny bit of give there, but I can just pack that out with a bit of paper just to stop that moving. And I've made a new, uh, let's pan back up again. I made a new top piece, which will take, uh, this is a 32 mil pole, so it'll take uh, that that actual piece there. I'll just show you how it used to fit together. I used to have this bracket. I used to have this bracket mounted on, on here like that. And that used to sit on those, uh, on my old video stand which was fine for ages and ages, until I built the legs, obviously. So, um, let's go back to that. What I've done is, and um, plus this, this this section wasn't gonna fit the new pole, this is all glued together anyway. This was a, this is a Thingiverse uh, part, um, you probably recognize. So I've sort of vaguely copied that, which is this new section. Uh, that was my version one, um, and it didn't quite fit. Uh, I wanted it to get into uh, sit in there, but it didn't quite sit low enough. There's uh, a small support section in the front there, you can just see, uh, which was just snagging on there. So I've just reprinted that. And that's my version two of that. So I've just uh, knocked out the, the edges of that. That now fits in there as I want. I think... Um, on the designs, you, um, the, the, it is shown drilled through the base here, but I've always put an L bracket and drilled it into the sides of these. As you can see on, on these original ones, uh, just to give it more structure. So this is going to do the same idea. It's got, uh, it's going to have the L, uh, just L angles. So they'll just sit in like that and drill through this into into the support structure here. So I'm going to mount that on there and then I've also got to check the length of the leg against the pole. I'm not sure if I've got to cut that pole down slightly. Probably very slightly just so the legs sit above the the base of the uh, uh above the the chair leg base, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to I'm going to measure that up and uh, just uh, screw all this together. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. It's just a close up. I've got the bracket now mounted uh, on the base of the uh, base of the move. I had to file down just these corners slightly because they, these were start sticking out. Um, these weren't particularly accurate. These uh, L pieces I bought from the hardware shop. So uh, um, out of a packet of ten, they, they varied in hold uh, hold point and diameter as well. But I managed to get uh, the original one I measured. Obviously, I'd, I'd cut my um, holes too, but uh, I managed to get them all in. Um, so I've we drilled holes through the side uh, so there's four bolts on the sides four at the top so it's it, it's as solid as it's going to be um i've also got a slot in here so the cable if i put cables into the tube um i can if i slot the bottom of the tube i can bring cables up and out from here okay so that's ready to take a bolt through there's another bolt that will go in the side here that way got to drill out the, the pole to take the bolts uh, this is all screwed on now as I was saying um, so I'm going to mount it uh, on the pole just to get a height put the legs up uh, off of the legs up against it see how high the feet are I think the feet are going to be a bit high on the uh, the stand at the moment but we'll soon find out so uh, that's the next thing okay I've got the bracket on the pole I've got the uh, in move mounted on the bracket and everything so you can see I've bolted through just I can turn that around 
So I've got a bolt through there, bolt through there. I put a draw wire in there, because I put it, as I'm saying, I've got a slot in there, I've got a slot at the bottom of the pole. So I'm gonna put the power supply at the bottom. Um, so that's all in, it's pretty, pretty structural. Just uh, pan down, you can see the bottom slot there. I've just brought the cable out the bottom there. Um, some people I've seen have actually cut off a couple of the legs, so it's just a three-legged um, stand, uh, and then put the whole, you know, three base stand, and put the whole legs further down, but I'm a little bit concerned it's gonna be a bit um, top-heavy. Uh, it might fall over, so I'm not gonna risk that. So I'm gonna put the legs on, um, and uh, you'll see how it fits. So let's just come back up here again. I'll just uh, move the camera out of the way. So as I showed you earlier, I've glued these top sections on, just that bit with super glue just onto the, the top of the leg, so they're finally one piece. I'm going to mount those on the uh, in move. So as you can see, that will just slot in there. I've got the uh, the screw heads. I've just countersunk in slightly. I mean, they're not going to get in the way. So there's his, <laughs> there's his bottom. So as you can see, there's the legs, um, and they come to a good height on the base of the stand. Actually, if I just rotate that round, they're just touching the base of the stand. So I think that's going to work out, work out fine. I haven't um, bolted on these bits yet, uh, just because I haven't really finished this off. But I, I'm going to fix them on and I'm also I've noticed on Gail's website he's got a brace that goes across the the pole because he's got it on a lot of trolley uh, so I think I'm going to build a little brace which will lock it off at, the, at uh, down here to stop these moving and that's that's the legs there's Nigel But as you can see, I'm out of the power supply at the bottom of the uh, the chair leg. Wired the cable in through the in through the tube and the up, so you can just see it coming out. So that comes out there and plugs into the unit. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find a slightly smaller power supply because if that was about four inches or three inches shorter, I could actually get a power supply to sit inside the leg, and it'd be great to just lose it completely. It would just uh, literally sit in there and the cables could come out. So I'm going to see if um, I can find a, a small uh, one about half that length, which I have seen, I think, on eBay and uh, Amazon and such. So I'll, um, that'll be another thing at some point to have a look for. But uh, So that's basically done anyway. Okay, well I hope you can see that. I've actually got the camera outside the workshop now just to get a, a, a image of it. So he's very tall and there's about five inches off the floor, maybe six inches off the floor. So. If I did slot those legs out, I could get it right down, I suppose, but I'm a little bit wary about that. So um, he's finally on a little trolley, so I can move him around because he's been fixed on the um, on the old camera stand for, for quite a while. You can see that there. Uh, so it's been a bit awkward to get it moving around the room. So let's put him over there. So I can out wheel him. He rotates. Cable down there is going to be for pass flow, which I mount at the bottom. Uh, I've still got a finish off a few bits and pieces as I mentioned uh, which are on the legs and his neck is still slightly damaged so I've got to take the head off again and fix that um, but apart from that he's sort of fully working my computer in the workshop's packed up so I've got to sort out that before I can get him up and running but I'm going to put a, um, a small uh, computer on him so he's self-contained at some point that he can uh, it doesn't have to be plugged into anything and I've also been messing around with using controlling him with uh, a uh, PS4 controller which um, seems to work quite well so I'm going to do a bit of programming on that and there's a few things I've seen on the uh, Easy Robot forums they're doing programming wise which I'm going to have a look at. To show you what else is going on in the workshop I'm printing the uh, there's the dome 
Kamara 2D2. Uh, on the printer, that is, uh, that's the middle section of the body. You've got the sort of sections one, two, and three. I think that's section two. Just thought I'd show you on the Prusa Mark III, they've got a different uh, spool holder, which is this one, which is on their website. So I've actually printed that because it's much better than those slightly ridiculous two sides that you've then got to put a bar in the middle and um, this bit is uh, a thingiverse item uh, if you search i'll put the link up on it but if you search sort of prusa uh, spool holders and um, filament guides so th this is a uh, off the the uh, mark three uh, downloads you can download the stls of the mark three and that's just another uh, thingiverse thing but it's made a lot of difference because that'll just lift off rather than having to uh, put a, a piece of uh, support through the middle and it'll take wide spools that one as well so um and took a few hours to print so it's really worth it now here's the dome as i was mentioning earlier i've got the lazy susan in it uh, just to it's upside down at the moment so it's not the right way up this, these these pieces will point down but just to see if it'll fit uh these are various sections i'm printing that's section two eight and stuff so um Quite a bit. I'm probably about halfway into the print, I think, or maybe a bit further actually, of, of the pieces. I've used up uh, a lot of PLA. I think I'm on my sixth, maybe seventh reel, something, sixth reel maybe. Um, so I bought four, yeah, I reckon I'm on the sixth reel. But I have printed some other bits and pieces in the meantime, as I said, I printed that support. I printed a couple of the pieces for the. I printed that. That was my first attempt for the, the move base.